Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. This is Dr. B. Tunasi, working as Associate Professor in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering, Vignan Snirula, Institute of Technology and Sciences for Women, Palakuluru. Today, I am going to discuss about NPTEL, Object Oriented Analysis and Design, Assignment 3. I have already told you that if you have enrolled for Object Oriented Analysis and Design, you are going to get the certificate from IIT Karakpur. So, till now we have complete, completed two assignments and out of eight assignments we have completed two and we are having six assignments. In the six assignments, today I am going to discuss about one more assignment. So, third assignment also going to complete. Again, we are having only five assignments. So, if you have not enrolled yet, please try to enroll. And uh, please like, share and subscribe my channel. Let's see the assignment. Coming to the first question. This is common data for questions 1, 2, 3. While designing a text editor software to represent a text document, the designer has come up with a document class with the following attributes. Here we are having a document class. It is having the name of the class as document and it is having attributes like document ID, name, line count, create date, update date. These are the attributes of a class. And coming to the operations, we are having new, save, print, rename, get line count, get update date. So these are the operations of a class document. And uh, if you see the visibility of the operations, these all are our public operations. So the methods of the document class are given as new operation. New operation means create a new text document. And coming to the save operation, it means save the text document to the disk. Coming to the print, print the content of the text document. Rename means change the name of the text document. And uh, get line count means return the number of lines in the document. Get update date means return the last modification date of the document. This is the common data given to the one, two, three questions. So let's see the questions one by one. Coming to the first question. Which of the following is a modifier type of uh, operation? So rename, print, get line count, get update date. These are the four operations. So which one is a modifier type of operation? We know that we are having five types of operations in the objects. Coming to the first one is modifier. Modifier means an operation that alters the state of the object. It means if you consider an example of stack. If you consider the example of stack in that we are having operations like push and pop. When you push the element into the stack, the elements will be or else the state of the stack will be modified. Or else if you pop the elements, it means if you delete the elements from the stack, then also it alters the state of the object. So, these, this type of operations are nothing but the modifier operations. Coming to the selector, an operation that accesses the state of the object but does not alter the state. It just accesses the state or the condition of the present state of the object. That's all. It won't modify anything like push or pop operations. For example, top. Top operation gives what is the top, where the top is there. Just it uh, tells about the condition. That's all. If the stack is empty, then it specifies whether it is empty or not. It tells the condition of the stack. All the iterator, the name itself indicates iterator means it iterates. It means it uh, checks all the operations or else it accesses all the parts of the object. So for that print, example is print. Coming to the constructor, an operation that creates an object and or initializes its state. And coming to the destructor, an operation that frees the state of an object or destroys the object itself. These are the five types of operations which we have studied in the object. Coming to the modifier operation. Modifier means it need to alter the state of the object. Here, if you consider print, print is the iterator. Get line count or get update date. They won't uh, modify. They just tell the state or condition. They might be the selector operations. 
and rename. We are changing the state. So this is nothing but the modifier. So here the answer is rename. Coming to the second question, which of the following is a selector type of operation? So already we have discussed what is meant by selector means an operation that accesses the state of the object but does not alter the state. Okay, so if you consider new, new means you need to uh, alter the state. It means from you need to give the name. Okay, next year coming to the get line count, get update date. These are used to uh, give the details, just the condition of the object. So here the get line count, get update date are the selected type of operations. Coming to the third question, identity of a document objects is defined by A, document ID, line count, create date, update date. So, identity means the identity of an object that uh, property of an object which distinguishes it from other objects. So, for that document ID, even for employee means employee ID, which is used to identify the object which distinguishes from other objects. So, here also in, if you want to identify an object, we need to go for the document ID. So, the option is A. Coming to the fourth and fifth questions. So, we are having the common data. So, if you see the figure here, observe the links between the objects in the following diagram. So, controller to display, we are having a link and controller to compressor also, we are having a link. And compressor to display, we are having a link. Okay. So, we are having one operation that is speed change, that is from controller to compression. So, this is the common data given for the questions 4 and 5. Let us see what are the questions. Select the valid statement with respect to the above diagram. So, what are the valid statements? First one, controller object invokes operations in the compressor object. Controller object. So, controller is which is used to control on the objects. So, control ob object obviously it invokes the operations from the compressor object. That is true. Display object invokes operations in the controller object. So, display. If you keenly observe that display is nothing but a server object. Server object is always provides the services to the other objects, but it won't take services from the other objects. So display is object invokes operations on the control object is a false. Compressor object invokes operations on the control object. So here compressor is nothing but a proxy. Proxy can do both the as a server and the controller. So it can invoke the objects on the control object. So this is true. Compressure object and display object invokes each other's operations because it is not correct because compressure is a proxy whereas display is a server. So server cannot invoke the objects of other, other objects. So that's why we can't uh, take D as a correct answer. So if you see in detail, the controller object operates on the compressure object and display object. Whereas compressure and display objects do not operate on the controller object. Okay, hence it is known as controller. So controller means it can uh, operate on both the objects of compression and uh, display. So this leads to the separation of concerns. The display object do not operate on other objects because it is a server. It, a, it provides services to other objects but it won't operate uh, other objects operations. Okay, next coming to the compressure object. It can operate on display and get operated by controller. So, here it is a proxy. So, it can uh, operate the display but get operated by the controller. If you see the options also, controller object invokes the operations of the control, compressure object because it is a controller. So, we can operate. Display object invokes operations on the controller. It can't do because display object acts as a server. It won't uh, invoke any operations. Compressure object invokes operations on the controller. Because it's a proxy, it can do both the operations as a server and the control. So, compression object and display object invokes each other's object. That's false because a display object does not operate on other objects. Okay. So, the options are A and C. Coming to the fifth question. So, fifth question also how to pass the operations. Here, 
only the controller can pass speed change message to compressor and the link between display and the compressor is bidirectional. If you see the figure, you can easily identify that. Okay, this is regarding the fifth question. Coming to the sixth question. With respect to the below diagram, which of the following statements are true? So here, bicycle stand, bicycle wheel. These are the three objects. Bicycle will have the bicycle stand. And uh, wheel is also a part of a bicycle. So if you here observe this, we are having some one composition and one uh, aggregation. So aggregation is nothing but the weak uh, containment or a conceptual containment. And composition is a strong aggregation. So if you see this, a bicycle has a strong aggregation with a bicycle stand. No, it is only having a weak aggregation. So that is not true. A wheel can be associated with multiple bicycle. So we haven't specified any multiplicity here. So we can't see that. Coming to the, the figure shows a whole part relationship between the bicycle and wheel. Yes, it is true. There is a whole part relationship between the bicycle and wheel. And uh, a weak aggregation is shown between bicycle stand and bicycle. This is also true because there is a weak aggregation. It means that is just but a small aggregation symbol between the bicycle stand and bicycle. So, we are having C and D as the correct answer. Next, coming to the seventh question. A declaration in a class that is accessible only to the class and its subclasses has the visibility of type. So, coming to the visibility, we can divide the interface of a class into four parts. First one coming to the public. Public means a declaration that is accessible to all the clients and we can call it as a public. Protected means a declaration that is accessible only to the class itself and its subclasses. Then we can call it as a protected. And next coming to the private, a declaration that is accessible only to the class itself. Next coming to the package, a declaration that is accessible only by class in the same package. See, if you see the question, a declaration in a class that is accessible only to the class and its subclasses, then we can call it as a protected. Next, coming to the eighth question, what are the measures of quality of an abstraction? Measures of quality of abstraction are coupling, cohesion, sufficiency, completeness, primitiveness. So, out of five, we are having cohesion and coupling. So, the options are A and B. Coming to the ninth question. Ninth question is having 9th, 10th, 11th having the common data. Answer the following questions based on the class hierarchy below. Write true or false to the answers these questions. IO base has no public constructors. That is a note given. And coming to the figure, if you see the figure, IOS base is a superclass and IOS is a subclass. And it is also having sub sub subsequent classes. I stream and OS stream, O stream and IF stream and OF stream. So see here, if you see the leaf classes are nothing but the concrete classes and the IO base, IOS are the abstract classes. Okay, you need to remember this point here. And next coming to the ninth question. State whether the following statement is true or false. I stream is a superclass of IF stream. So see here, I stream is a superclass of IF stream. Yes, obviously, IS, I stream is a superclass and I F stream is a subclass. So, uh, in the inheritance, I, I stream is a superclass of I F stream. That is true. Next, coming to the 10th question. IOS is a superclass of IOS base. Let's see the figure here. IOS is a superclass of IOS base. No, IOS is a subclass of IOS base. So, this is a false. See, this is false. Next, coming to the 11th question, state whether the following statement is true or false. IOS base is an abstract class and cannot have any instances. Yes, obviously, IOS and IO base, IOS base are the abstract classes. And abstract classes, obviously, they don't have any instances. So, that is true. So, option is A. That's all. And thank you so much. Subscribe my channel.